Here are GCN's last minute tips on where to watch the Tour de France in Yorkshire. A stage start is always a really good place to go and watch the Tour. While you won't see any racing, what you will see are your favourite riders milling around, all the team buses and the bikes, and maybe even time to get an autograph or a photo. The start is cycling's equivalent of the Oscars red carpet, only with even less body fat. For stage one, going to Leeds to watch the start also means that you can potentially get to the finish too. We suggest that your car is going to be off limits, don't even try driving in or out. However, you can catch a train from Leeds to Harrogate and get there in plenty of time to get a half decent spot close to the finish line. Now, Leeds station is really close to the start village and likewise, the station at Harrogate is exceedingly close to the finish. The train ride between the two takes just 30 minutes. If you're watching out on the course, it's always a good idea to position yourself on a climb to maximise viewing time. Uphill, riders are obviously going slower, hopefully to the point where you can see the pain on their faces and the strain of their muscles. The trouble with getting out on the route here on stage one is it's in the middle of the dales. It's remote and it's hard to get to. Now, if you want to come in here, you're going to have to come in at least a day beforehand because a lot of the roads are either going to be closed or gridlocked. It's also worth thinking that you're going to have to find somewhere to park. Now, you may be lucky and get a bit of grass verge, but that might be acceptable in France I suspect the UK police are going to be a little bit less relaxed. There are, however, loads and loads of official and semi-official places to camp and park along the route. So, if you Google it, even at this late stage, you may well be lucky and still get a pitch. And if the weather's good, the atmosphere there is going to be great. Now, it's worth noting that although these climbs are going to be great places to watch, the nature of a race like the Tour de France means that where the climbs feature in the stage affects how the riders will race up them. Now on this, on stage one, the climbs are very much in the middle of the stage, which means the riders will be going up in a very controlled fashion. The riders will be very tightly packed together. If you want to see the very best climbing action in the Tour de France in Yorkshire, you're going to need to go and watch on stage two. Our prime location to watch the Tour de France in the UK is here at Jenkin Road in Sheffield. It's a really tough little climb, and because it's only four kilometres away from the finish line, it's quite likely that the very best riders in the Tour de France, the Chris Froome's and the Alberto Contador's, will be showing their hands here. Now, it's really steep at 33% in this section, so even those riders are going to be going slow enough for you to really see the pain and the determination etched on their faces. The other great thing about Jenkin Road is it's just a short walk from Meadowhall train station. Again, we really don't advise driving in. The beauty of catching the train is that you don't need to worry about car parks or traffic jams. And in this case, it opens up the possibility of seeing the stage start as well as the stage finish. Now, just like with stage one, stage two start in York and finish in Sheffield are really well connected by rail. Now, it will be busy, so don't try and bring your bike with you. But if it works out, it could just well be one of the best days bike race spectating you will ever get. Elsewhere on stage two, there are some real treats of locations to watch. Knaresborough is a particularly beautiful and accessible town that falls early on the stage. Early enough, in fact, that it's likely to see some of the best action of the day as riders will be fighting tooth and nail to get in the early break. And it will be particularly hotly contested on this stage because whoever takes the KOM jersey today is likely to be holding onto it for quite a long time. The flurry of KOMs in the second part of the stage are also going to see some great action. In general, the later in the stage, the better. This climb out of Uter Bridge is going to be a particularly good vantage point, almost as good as Jenkin Road. Now, with 182 kilometres already in the riders' legs by the time they hit there, the riders are going to be all over the road, potentially 10 minutes between the front and back of the race. Also, we'll be seeing some serious masks of pain, everything, in fact, that we like to see in a bike race. Now, access isn't going to be as easy as Jenkin Road, so it's likely to be a little bit less crowded. This could well be the spot to ride in. The access is pretty good for motorways and major roads. You can find a park, jump on your bike and ride here. Just remember to bring a lock. So these are our last minute recommendations. What are yours? Why don't you share your suggestions in the comments section down below?